Welcome back everybody, Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. This is video two, where I am going to show you how to properly install carpet padding for your DIY carpet installations. Now, you kind of got to bear with me here, because I'm going to be holding the camera and doing this one-handed, so I excuse all the shakiness and all, but it is what it is. So, we're going to need a pad stapler for this. We're going to need staples. And the reason we're using those is because we have a wood subfloor and obviously we're going to need a knife. So check this out. We've got our carpet padding here, still in the plastic. We're in an empty room. We just finished stripping. If you want to learn how to install all tack strips, then be sure to check the last video. I show step by step how to do that. Plus I have multiple other videos on it. So check this out here. We're going to cut around the perimeter of the pad. Can you see that? Pull that off. Now the reason we're doing it like that is because pad bags make awesome, awesome garbage bags. Look at that gigantic garbage bag we have now. So we have something to put all of our scraps in when we're done. Get the scraps out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead, cut the padding. I'm gonna set this up here so I'm not killing you with all the shakiness. Stick with me here, please. All right. So our padding's on the ground. I'm gonna lift this up. Lay it out kind of rough here. And roll it across the room. Cut it off. so we could actually line this up and get ready to secure it to the floor for the installation. So, our first shot's down. Let me get you a close up here. So I just slid it over with my feet and I like a slight gap up against the tack strip there. And that way when I kick it with the kicker head, you know, it won't push it up over on the tack strip. I mean, even though it's gonna be stapled down, the pressure can still make it shift. So, now that we have it lined up where we want it, we're gonna take our pad staplers. We're gonna get some staples. Here's your staples. We're gonna load that up. Just throw a couple in there to give you an idea of what's going on. And then we're gonna go all the way around the perimeter. Staple it roughly every six inches or so. And I'm gonna show you a side view here of where it needs to be trimmed. So we're gonna staple this. We're gonna take our knife. We're gonna feel where the tack strip's at. And we're just gonna trace the tack strip. And that's all it is. We're gonna go around the room and uh, install the padding. I'm going to do a follow-up real quick. I'm going to show you how to seam the padding together and staple it and secure it properly. We're going to go throughout the house, finish all that out, and then we'll start unrolling the carpet and do the actual installation. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do this seam and then we're going to get into the real business here. Alrighty, so we got the second shot of pad laid out. We're going to butt it right up to the other one. lined up so we have a little excess on each end to trim off. Bring you over here. So see, we got our pad seam right here. We want to make sure this is secured properly. So, we're just going to go down a little zigzag form like that, almost applying a little bit of pressure, getting it tight on each other, all the way down the seam. And the reason we're doing this is when we unroll the carpet and we shift it around a little bit, we don't want the pad to roll itself up like that and you get bubbles under the rug. So you want to do a good job securing your seam. That way you don't have any hiccups when you start unrolling your materials. Now stick with me here, we're going to knock out this house.
there. You want to cover the floor entirely with your carpet padding, staple the perimeter, staple the seams real tight so when you unroll the carpet it doesn't shift. We're going to get into the next video where we actually unroll the carpet, but here is a big, big thing I see the DIY guys and gals mess up with carpet padding. Not the end of the world if you do this, but this will make your life a hell of a lot easier. Hopefully the camera picks up on this. You can see how this has a netting on this side? That actually provides a uh, almost like a slick glide where the carpet can slide over it when you stretch it. On the other side, there's no netting and it's actually a little rough, it has some friction to it. And I see a lot of DIY people, for whatever reason, they always go netting side down. And you know, like I said, not the end of the world if you do that, but it will make your life a little more difficult when you're trying to stretch that carpet in. So netting side up, or if you get a spill block padding, the glossy side up. That's how you want to do it there. So go ahead and follow these videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Check the links below this video. I got some slick resources for you. And stay tuned for the next one where I show you how to start unrolling the carpet and make things happen.